Hey everyone, I'm Heather. Welcome back to my week by week pregnancy journal. If this is your first time here, I'll be talking about everything that happened during week 22 of pregnancy. Check out the description area for a quick breakdown of this video if you just want to skip around to a certain topic or check how my bump is progressing. Right now, the baby is the size of a spaghetti squash or a coconut about 11 inches and broke that barrier of being now one pound. What I read somewhere is that if you go to the grocery store, you can pick up a bag of sugar that's one pound and most likely it's about 11 inches too. So you just hold it in your hand and be like, oh my gosh, this is how much baby weighs and about how long he is now. So getting bigger. So what's happening in development? The baby's now gaining about eight ounces per week. His lips, eyelids, and eyebrows are now becoming more distinct. His little eyeballs have formed, but the irises still Still lack pigment. My husband's eyes are blue and my eyes are green so we kind of feel like the baby's eyes are most likely gonna be some sort of light color. I don't really care what color. He's gonna be beautiful because <laughs> my husband's beautiful. <laughs> and you're an ugly bitch. <laughs> and his see-through skin is now opaque. Might stay pale. I like my ginger husband. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of see-through in the winter. How am I feeling physically this week? Definitely I feel larger and definitely like my belly feels tighter, especially in the evening hours. Symptoms this week, my hips and my thigh bones are super achy at times. It's not like a constant everyday thing and I feel like I could stretch it out a little bit and make it go away. But a few days in the beginning of the week, it was just like I woke up and it was like, what did I do? And I didn't do anything to cause that area to be achy. And it's not like my thigh muscles either. It's like my bone, like you feel it deep in there and like in your hip bones. Like maybe they just grew that day or something. I don't know, I didn't measure, but that's all I could think that just changes are happening. Indigestion is still present. It's just always gonna be present and I've just, Tums are my best friend and I think I've just learned to live with it. I don't know, I've just, I've noticed that like my ear doesn't change. It's like, ah, how do you make it go away? It could be uh, the inner ear dysfunction thing that I was talking about that I had for a little while with, uh, with, uh, so, um, allergies because all the pollen. I don't know. It feels weird. I feel like I've been very irritable this week. Kind of simmered down towards the end of the week. And also bloody nose. I figure that it's usually just on the right side and it's in the mornings. When I clear my throat and brush my teeth and blow my nose and I squirt some saline up there because it's just I'm so congested I really can't breathe. I see blood come out and it's just always that one side. Back aches are still happening. It's just definitely by the end of the day I think just standing on my feet all day and just being active and working. Also flipping around in bed trying to find a comfortable position. I find that I get those little stabbing pains and the baby movements are always fun to experience. Now it's more throughout the day, not just in the morning and at nighttime when I'm lying down. I just feel them occasionally like all the time. And the one day at work I was sitting in a conference and I looked down and I saw my belly moving and that was a cool feeling. Another thing when I was at work, I mean just, I guess maybe looking down when I felt the the movement, I was just like, oh my gosh, my belly definitely changed shape, like popped out more. And I'm like, I have this cute little mountain of a view of my belly. I took a photo of it like this because I was like, I just want to capture that, like that moment that I felt like, oh, look at the belly. <laughs> And lastly, um, Braxton Hicks contractions. They do happen. They're continuing to happen. I don't think it's anything to worry about. We have our follow-up appointment for, I think, 23 and a half or 24 weeks next week. And I will just double check with them that that's normal. But I've read everywhere that it's normal. It's just the uterus contracting for about 30 seconds to two minutes and it goes away. It's not multiple in a row. It's just occasional. But I find that even when I'm walking or going down the steps too quick or up those steps too quick, I feel a contraction and I just notice it and I touch it and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I just need to slow down. They also say the best thing is to drink water, mainly drink water and change your positioning. So I'm working through them. They're there though. Cravings this week, had to fulfill all of them. I had a craving for a cheese sub. Well, cheese sub is all I could get, which would be like a hoagie or something, a sandwich with lettuce, tomato, onion, all dunked in vinegar and yeah, I devoured that. I have been craving chips, custard with jimmies from uh, a place called Rita's that's around us. And it's the best ice cream ever. It's just so thick and creamy. <laughs> Lots of rainbow jimmies. And the last thing was 
pickled ginger. This was something that I made my husband go to the grocery store with me at like 9 or 9.30 at night time just to get that because I knew I wanted to eat it and we got it. It was not that satisfying because it was the wrong kind of pickled ginger. It was like the spicier one. It wasn't the pink one that's just kind of pickledy taste. There's a difference. Ginger people, ginger lovers, <laughs> people who like ginger, I guess you know what I'm talking about. Either way, we got sushi the next day. I only got the shrimp tempura, no raw fish or anything. I got the right kind of ginger then. Body changes this week. I'm still at about 10 pounds of uh, weight gain this week. Nothing really changed much. I don't know what to think of that, but I mean, every day it's different. It might just be this morning that I weighed myself and it's only 10 pounds still. And around my belly, it's still about a three inch even gain. Maybe a little more in my waist this time, but I am definitely losing my waist. My waistline is disappearing if it hasn't already. It probably did already, but I'm just I have a little hope there. <laughs> this week my husband told me because my baby shower is uh, somewhat of a surprise. I know what day and around what time it's going to be so I can be ready for it. It'll be about a month from now. He told me that invitations were sent out. So our registry is done. Invitations are sent out and he said to me, I guess a few days after they were sent out, hey let's check the registry see if anybody purchased anything. And I wasn't even thinking to do that but he likes ruined surprises. So <laughs> we looked on the registry and saw that a few things were purchased and I just the emotions that came over me when I saw that it was just things that were purchased but in my mind I'm like oh my gosh so we spent all that time we made the registry we, pick, we picked out things that we want for our baby and then just the thought of those things are now being purchased and are going to come to us and they're going to be ours and our baby is going to use them it's just it was a lot of emotions that I just started crying my eyes out and I couldn't stop and we were hugging and laughing about it and it was it was a good feeling seeing that things are coming our way and it's just getting more and more real. Speaking of that, a couple days later, we get a package in the mail. Our friends that live out in Colorado or in New Jersey obviously can't attend the baby shower and they already sent a gift to us. So one of the things that we saw that was purchased was from them and it arrived and it's like, oh my gosh, shit is getting real. We are getting things and we're putting them in the room already. The room's not anywhere near done, but this is happening. It makes me just so happy. I just, we both, we can't wait to meet him. I think about him every day. I think about that little face that was on that 3D or 4D or HD live uh, ultrasound from a couple weeks ago and I just blink hearts. <laughs> also this week we finally had that yard sale that I've been talking about. My husband e even said like, oh it might rain, we should postpone it till the next week and I was like, no, this is happening and we made it happen. We woke up at like 5 o'clock in the morning, started loading things out on the lawn, put signs up all on the poles the, day, the previous day and we ended up making $800. That is a big chunk of money that we were going to put towards the baby or towards like a home project to help get us ready for the baby and it's just it makes me feel good because part of me just wanted to give up and just get rid of everything and just donate it to Salvation Army or Goodwill or Red White and Blue one of those stores and we held strong and had our yard sale and now we have some extra change in our pocket a nice little chunk of change to do something for getting ready for the baby so about house projects that we are saving up money for thank God we have awesome family members that are you know helping us out and one of them being my brothers. They are both electricians and they just put up recessed lighting uh, this past week in the baby's room and in the hallway and they do plan to do it in our living room. So seeing that change is just awesome. It just brightens up our house. It's the dimmable lights for the nursery and I just that takes a big weight off of our shoulders. It just makes the house look that much better, especially when we're gonna have guests and like my parents over and his parents over and family and just having better lighting in our house is something that was really on that checklist of things that we needed to do. Also, my brother-in-law, he came over and laid all new water pipes for our laundry room, which is gonna be in the basement now. I know that that is just such a troublesome task and the fact that he was able to do that in one day with my husband helping and another guy helping and it's just like check check things are all coming together my brothers ran electric down there and I think we're finally gonna have a working washer and dryer in our basement so yay this week I also tried to listen to the heartbeat 
through my stethoscope at work. It might have been the positioning or maybe it was just too noisy, but I did not hear anything. Maybe I'll try again next week or the week after. I mean, I don't know. They say that you can hear the heartbeat through a stethoscope, but, or maybe it's the baby's position. I don't know, but I didn't hear it. I feel him move all the time, but just couldn't hear the, the heartbeat through the stethoscope. What's comforting to me, definitely my maternity pillow. I sleep with that every night and it's just, it helps keep me in a better position. Even when I'm turning around, it's just so much more comfortable than a body pillow. No wonder why people were like, get a maternity pillow. I'm like, I have a body pillow already. I don't need one. And I'm like, you know what? Let me get this maternity pillow. And it makes a difference. It definitely does. Also feeling kicks and sleeping are definitely comforting to me. Other things that I just love are my pants that I got from motherhood maternity. There's a pair of pants and a pair of shorts. And I just found myself thinking, I love these things. And every pregnant woman should have them and wear them. I'll put a link below reminding you of what they are, but I just love them. And they're so comfortable. You gotta get a pair. Other thoughts this week is, my husband made me, you know, start to get into playing music for the baby more often because it's just not the first thought that I have is to put my phone up to my belly. So towards the end of the week, I've noticed that we were watching a movie and there were loud noises and I was laying in bed and I felt him move and I said to my husband, I was like, I think he's reacting to these loud noises. And earlier in the day, we were blowing up balloons for our yard sale and my husband was pulling it and it was squeaking and we were laughing because the dog was getting a kick out of it, like twisting his head up and crossing his eyes. I said to him, I was like, I think that that sound is making the baby move. So he came to my belly and started squeaking the balloon. I mean, that's cool. If you can put sounds up to your belly and the baby reacts, like you feel like it's kind of more like you're playing with him somewhat. I'll keep uh, investigating that throughout the weeks. To come this week also because we did the Amazon registry I saw the button it was like oh check this off if you want your Amazon welcome package I guess once ever you finish your registry it's a bunch of things that you have to check off you get the option to get a welcome package so you go in and you select to use your free gift allotted amount which is I think $35 and I mean I have we have prime so I, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. so you didn't have to pay shipping or anything and it arrived like two days later so I just want to show you that because it was just like the coolest thing ever to get all this stuff for free just for starting a baby registry this is the box i had it set up i posted a photo on my instagram to kind of be like look at that cute this stuff is so um we got a onesie and this is by moon and back and it's 100 percent organic cotton and there's little elephants all over it and then we also got this muslin swaddle it's by amazing baby and it's got little giraffes on it. I just think that my husband's obsessed with the muslin swaddles, so we do have a few already, but can't ever have too many, you know, when they puke or poop on them or something. <laughs> and then you get a Burt's Bees baby onesie. This is three to six months, and the other one is three to six months also. You get a container of Lysol daily cleansing wipes, Huggies natural care wipes, and Event, I think that's how you say it, feeding bottle. You get two pacifiers by Nook and UK. I haven't actually heard about them, but it said it's it says it's an orthodontic pacifier, soothes and calms the baby better. I think I did register for some orthodontic pacifiers, but I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> And then you get a bunch of samples. Burt's Bees gave a shampoo and wash. Baby Dove gave a, a moisturizer. And Avino gave a daily moisturizer. And Cetaphil Baby has a daily lotion that they give you a sample of. So all those little samples and all the cute little things. Exciting. Things I'm looking forward to this week. Definitely just our next checkup. Just more questions to ask, see what they have to say. Go through the ultrasound that we had, our 20 week ultrasound, more in depth probably. And she'll probably feel where the baby is sitting. And I don't know. Tell me what to do from there on, hopefully, because I don't really know. <laughs> Can you see my belly? No. Here's your alien baby. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> in this little spaceship <laughs> uterine spaceship alright so this is my belly for week 22 day 1 of week 23 <laughs>